And you've got a nice presentation for us tonight, all about the wonders of essential oils and aromatherapy. I have. I've been doing them for nearly 30 years now. Um, had somebody in the uh, treatment um, and she told me that in the last in some anti-inflammatories for uh, uh, a painful to it and a bleed and uh, like shook my head she said what do you do what do, what what anti would grab a lavender oil or a herb oil or something and rub on my foot i reached for you know a paracetamol or an ibuprofen or Voltor oil. It's, it's just this thing i do the last when it was about five years ago when i moved something I took some paracetamol then as well as oils and icing well, well that's that's an important one because we're elevating all... yeah but i just i use it on everything <laughs> yeah that, that's an important one, Joy, because we're, we're all about replacing things, aren't we? You know, like replace the paracetamol with something more natural. Yes. To, to me, it's sort of preventative. It's not just when you have a pain or an indigestion uh, or whatever it is. It's actually about, you know, like now, because, um, you know, I've had some basil and some rosemary. Just sniffed it because that will work a little bit faster. Um, a more sensible talking. So I just use them in my shampoo, in my shower gel, um, just make them up whichever blend I want for that day, you know, lift my mood. And there's a, um, there's, yes, sir. And there's a question there. I'm interested in natural pain relief as I'm allergic to lots of pharmaceuticals. What would be a, what would be a natural pain relief then? What, what, what kind of oils would you go for there? Right. And that would be lavender. Although when somebody says they're allergic to oils, um, I'd be dubious about that people with allergies to pharmaceuticals quite often are sensitive to a lot of things. So I would, you know, be patch testing them. Um, but, but the herbs, and again, it really depends what, because, you know, different different pains are caused by different, the whole thing about medicine is that Western medicine says you're in pain, here's a painkiller. don't have a good blow to muscle, so their muscles hurt, but actually what you need is an oil to dilate muscle lavender oil is a very good analogy uh, but again it's like is it a nerve pain is it a muscle pain it's 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 not as simple it is okay so you've got a presentation let's see if that maybe works a bit better on screen let's try that we'll put your screen up just now if that's okay hello i'm joy gill from aligned with joy and i have a small presentation on uh, aromatherapy for home use i hope you enjoy it It's my honour and privilege to take you on this journey into the beautiful world of aromatherapy. You are about to take a step on learning how these simple but powerful essential oils can help keep you and your family healthy. And what better time to actually start thinking about preventative and keeping ourselves healthy. This presentation is going to cover a very brief history of essential oils and the plants that they come from, the brand I use and sell, the common ways to use them and how to mix a blend, how to balance a blend so it's not too stimulating or too sedating. And at the end I have a great offer of a starter pack. The term aromatherapy was first used just under a hundred years ago and the story goes that a French chemist, René Gatfoss, uh, badly burnt his hand and dipped it into what he had next to him, which was a bowl of lavender oil. We're very lucky that it wasn't hydrochloric acid or something, and it was lavender oil that he plunged his hand into. And he was amazed at how quickly his hand healed, with virtually no scarring at all. So as a chemist, he recognised the healing and the antiseptic qualities of that oil. And he set about researching more into the oils. A few years later, Dr. Wang Lei, a doctor in the war, uh, had had very limited supply to medical supplies. So he started to investigate how using essential oils in the field uh, could help. And they were very effective. So they are the two early pioneers that helped with the, to develop aromatherapy. Thousands of years back, we have Egyptian priestesses were burning gums and resins, and 
we all know from the nativity story that the three wise men, the Magi, bought frankincense and myrrh as well as gold as gifts to Jesus. Hesop and Spikenard are also mentioned in the Bible. People will often say to me, oh, this is new age, it's not biblical, it's not Christian. Uh, and I would say, no, lavender wasn't mentioned in the Bible. There were things that we use now that weren't mentioned in the Bible. But to me, that is because they didn't have those plants there. If if Jesus had been born in Scotland, uh, we may have um, other things that were mentioned. Uh, so we have to place that in sort of biblical context, time. Um, and things. The Romans used essential oils in massage. In the 17th century, uh, it was well known that people that during the plague would go around carrying pomanders with orange and clove and herbs in them. And that idea has been taken by a common brand in the 21st century and used that in their marketing. Culpepper also used in his famous book, um, Herbs as an Integral Part of Medicine. Okay, so this is a brand that I use. It's Amphora Aromatics. They're based in the UK. Uh, that's their website header at the top. And at the bottom, this is taken from their website that they have signed up to the Soil Association, uh, the International Federation of Aromatherapists, the Aromatherapy Trade Council. So that's the rules and regulations that they abide to. And as you can see, Joy of Health was my old company before all this happened and I rebranded to align with Joy, but that's just to show that I am a recognised distributor of their oils. So the oils are, are obtained from the plants, the trees, the, the shrubs, the flowers, um, and they've been around since the beginning of time. Using them as essential oils is relatively new, um, but what better time to actually start to do self-care when appointments are few and far between in the NHS? Um, on social media, people will often say, oh, you know, enjoy your nice smelly things if it makes you feel better. But there are hundreds of articles now that you can find on PubMed that um, will tell you that there is actually recognisable scientific proof that these essential oils do work. In fact, most of our medicines started um, from, from plants and herbs uh, so you think of digitalis, digoxin, it comes from the foxglove. Uh, you think of aspirin, it comes from the willow bark. So what pharmaceuticals have done is taken the part that they think is the therapeutic part, and actually they have ignored the part that is the sort of the antidote. So aspirin calls us gastric irritation, but if you actually take the willow bark, then the willow bark itself has got the antidote for the part that causes us problems if we take it on its own. I came across this article when I was doing my research for this um, and quite interesting that smell training is the best thing if post virally you have lost your sense of smell and actually is safer than steroids. They recommend four different types of oils, different chemicals in the oils, um, eucalyptus and peppermint of a pungent and then you've got a flowery and a citrus fruit. And the recommendation is that you sniff these oils, just literally take the top off the bottle. I've got eucalyptus here. Just take the top off the bottle. Somebody's done this one up a bit tight. And just sniff it for, for 20 seconds, twice a day, and smell training. And that has actually been proven to be safer and more effective than steroids which come with an awful lot of side effects if you go onto my website and go onto the shop i have actually put those four oils together as a bundle if anybody is interested and makes a lovely stocking filler so these are powerful liquids with amazing healing abilities on both uh, the physical, the spiritual, and the psychological level. So it's a mind, body, spirit experience and healing when you use essential oils. Um, I call them divine universal medicine or God's little healers. Uh, I also work with them on a spiritual and soul development when they can be enhanced. 
uh, by their usage. Sole midwives, people that work in hospices and with those people who are dying, work with the essences, the energies and the vibrations of these oils. And we'll possibly get into talking about that at the end. The massage is probably the best known way of using essential oils. You go to a spa or a massage, masseuse, and they will either use up use a blend that they've already uh, made up, that they bought, uh, or they can make up a blend for you. If you want to make up a blend for yourself, then the rule of thumb is that however many mils of your base oil or your carrier lotion, you use half the number of drops. So this bottle here is 100 mils. If you were going to make that up into a massage blend that you were going to use regularly, then that's a hundred mil oil. Then you would put 50 drops of essential oil in there, but you would blend it. So you wouldn't put 50 drops of eucalyptus or lavender or tea tree. You'd actually make a blend up depending on what you were trying to achieve. Okay. It's usual to use three oils. Uh, and that's where the fun begins, because somebody might say, um, I've got an arthritic pain and somebody else might be a toothache or it's a muscular pain. And unlike a pharmaceutical, it's like, well, there's a paracetamol or there's a non-steroidal. You would actually be looking at uh, what type of pain is it? So a muscular pain, you'll be looking for an antispasmodic muscular pain. It may be that the blood supply to it um is not you're getting pain because the blood supply to the muscle is is not quick enough and so the muscle gets gets pain when when walking uh, as opposed to you know a toothache pain or an arthritic pain which may be hot and red and inflamed so you're trying to balance up uh, you're trying to look at what is the cause of the pain to then match the oil to that rather than just here's a painkiller uh, and also there's the emotional side. So if somebody's had a car accident and has a whiplash, you know, are they angry about it? Are they frustrated? Are they not healing as fast as they would like to be? And so you're looking at the psychological aspect as well. Chances are, though, we don't all have a professional masseuse that we go to, especially if we're dealing with a chronic problem. So we need to look at other ways that we can use the oils on a daily basis. So for chronic problems... You can use uh, either a base oil um, or a plain body lotion that you would then put your essential oils into that body lotion. Now you've got something that you can use on a daily basis after a shower or a bath. If you're using them in the bath, please do not leave the, these oils, these essential oils um, in the bathroom for young children to get hold of. In Europe, in the UK, we do not advise that people take essential oils orally. Um, it actually goes against the standards of the um, council. So we are not advised to suggest that people take them orally. So keep them out of reach of small children. They do smell nice. They're quite likely going to sort of taste them after they smell nice. So please don't leave them around in the bathroom within reach. OK, they can also be put in shampoo. This is how I tend to use mine on a regular basis in the morning. Um, my shampoo, basil, 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 peppermint or rosemary, my favourite ways because they are all brain stimulant, brain food. Um, so they're an excellent way just to make sure your brain is, is working first thing in the morning if you've got a stressful day. Um, or the other way is just not to actually make up a whole bottle of shampoo, but just put a dollop on my hand, on the palm of my hand and then put one or two oils of whatever I want. The other day I had a bit of a sore throat, um, so I went for thyme, which is an excellent one for sore throats, and just use that into a shampoo. And if you use it that way, within, I would say, 30 seconds, you actually start to taste it in your mouth, which just goes to show how quickly it gets into the system. So I mentioned earlier that an essential oil will be, will be one of three notes, top, middle or base. If you think of it when you put on a perfume or uh, an aftershave, when you put it on initially and you, you know, if you go through 
duty free and you have a whiff and you go, oh, you know, that's a bit raw, I guess. It's, um, but then 10 minutes later, you'll, you'll sniff. What you get that initial is the top note. Then what you get afterwards is, is the middle note. And it's the middle note that tends to be the, the, the nature of the perfume. But then if you pick up your clothes the next day, you'll and smell them. It'll smell even different again. And that's the base note. And in general, the top notes are stimulating and the base notes are sedating and the middle notes are somewhere in between. And it's not always necessary that the top notes are stimulating and base notes are sedating, but that's a pr pretty rough guide to go by. And it's then important when you're deciding how many drops of each essential oil you're going to use in your... So let's look at the time of day that you're going to use your blend. Okay, so... If you were going to make a blend up of 20 mils of a, of a base lotion or oil, but you're going to use it after your shower in the morning before you go to work, then you would put more top notes in and less base because you want to be alert during the day and you don't want to be falling asleep at your desk. In the evening, you might reverse that. You want two drops of the top note because you don't want to be awake all night. Uh, and you put more of the base note in. So it's the same blends, the same oils, but it's the different ratio of what oils you put in the, uh, in your, in your base lotion or oil. Same would, would apply putting the drops in a bath or in a diffuser or a burner to be used in the, at the evening when you're at home. More top notes and base in the morning and more base notes in the evening, unless you're going to work at night. If you were going to make a big bottle of lotion or shampoo, same ratios would apply depending on whether you're going to use it in the morning shower or just before bedtime. Essential oils can be put directly into the bath, although they don't mix with water. They just go float on top. If anybody remembers the chemistry, um, you know, that they'd float on the top. So some oils may irritate the skin and care needs to be used not to splash water in the eyes. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting or essential oils directly into a bath that you're going to have a child in who maybe is going to play in the water. For emotional needs, um, yes, putting them in a body lotion, uh, you are going to absorb them so they will help with the emotional side of things. But another excellent way for dealing with emotions um, is to put them in burners or diffusers. Our olfactory system, our sense of smell, is very closely linked to our survival and it goes straight to our brain. As you can see in this picture here, um, the, the, the aromas, the scents go up the nose. They're picked up right at the back of our nose, which is very, very close to our brain. You can see there the arrow, so the scents are going up. They're hitting the back of the nose and the brain is picking them up and it's going right into the centre of our brain, the limbic system. Um, if I said to you, think of a perfume that you sort of remember from your early childhood or your early teens, you know, your, your first partner's aftershave or perfume, the chances are if I sort of asked you to do that within mini, milliseconds, you're not only remembering that smell, but you're almost hearing the music, the the number one song that you associate with that person, and a whole lot of things come flooding back. You know, one of the things when we lose somebody, when somebody dies, is actually holding on to a piece of their clothing because it smells like them. It reminds us of them. So it's very, very sensitive and very, very sort of in tune with our very being. And it's in, involved with safety. We want to know whether that fish or piece of meat has gone off because it's not going to be safe if we eat it. Eat it. It's going to make us ill. Um, the same with, you know, gas, uh, gas in the mines. Um, it's, it's our first sense. It's our number one. It is actually the first cranial nerve of the, of the 12 cranial nerves. I don't want to get too technical here, but it is it is number one nerve. So it's very important for our safety. Question about burners over diffusers. Burners are actually safer uh, if you take the candle aspect out of it. 
Diffusers are very popular now, but they do tend to send their vapour quite high into the air. Um, and burners are much more gentle. So if you have young children or, or pets, um, burners are actually better. Obviously put them out of reach of wagging tails and small children. But they are actually safer. They don't send the oil quite so far into the room. There is a post on my Facebook page, Aligned with Joy, that I posted on Wednesday, the 24th of November, 2021, around about one o'clock, where it's somebody talking about whether or not essential oils are safe to use around pets. Basically, the answer is yes. Just don't lock your pets into a room where your burner or diffuser is. Give them the opportunity to get out. They're very intelligent creatures. And if they have a way of getting out and they don't want to be around the oil, they will get out. Um, so really, you can use them sensibly. I think you'll find that thing, there are things in proprietary, you know, gl glades or whatever you plug ins and things that are far worse for us and for the pets. Now we're getting on to the offer that I have put together for the Awakened community. It combines 12 oils that I've carefully picked for you to be antiviral, detoxifying, mood elevators, grounding, all the things that we need. They're very, it's a very good, broad, it's a bit more than a first aid kit, um, but it involves the oils from a first aid kit and they're all being put together for you. That bundle of 12 oils is £55. It includes bergamot, eucalyptus, frankincense, juniper berry, lemon, lavender, mandarin, lemongrass, patchouli, peppermint, rosemary and tea tree. So that's the 12 oils in the bundle. But I've also included some bonuses for you, which is worth up to £10. So when I sell bundles of oils at 12, we sell it with 100 mils of base oil, grapeseed oil. But for you, I have increased that. So it's not 100, it's 250 mils. Okay. I've also included a free oil of orange. Uh, which is lovely and uplifting. It's a lovely, clean, fresh smell. It smells of oranges and I'm already feeling better. It also includes a book, Aromatherapy for Home Use, a guide for home use, sorry. Um, it's a very easy, the, the oils are there alphabetically. Um, so you just look at the oil and it'll tell you what you can use it for. Um, so eucalyptus, one of the tallest trees in the world, the whole tree exudes an aromatic odour. Widely used as an inhalant and chest rub, it in contains powerful antiseptic properties. Um, asthma, bronchitis, catarrh, colds, headaches, runny noses, flu-like symptoms, congestions, cystitis uh, and sinusitis. It's all in there, very easy, and that's part of the bonus as well. The oils can also, or certain oils are also known as precious or sacred oils. And these are used for a spiritual or soul experience. Uh, as I say, soul midwives will use them helping people transition from this world into the next. Um, I am preparing to be doing a course on these sacred oils in the new year, in January 2022. So if anybody is interested in that, then please do get in touch. So that course is launching in January 2022. It's an online course. Um, it's got entitled Connecting Intimately with the Divine Using the Power of Sacred Essential Oils. You can get in touch with me on my Facebook or through my website, as I've mentioned previously, and I'll say them again. So thank you for watching and listening. Uh, any questions, please drop them uh, to me at Facebook at Aligned with Joy or email me through my website, which is www.alignedwithjoy.com. Uh, I will get back to you as soon as I am able to. I do run a clinic, so it's quite often um, lunch times or in the evenings that I will reply in depth. You might get a hello uh, if it's during the clinic time, but I will get back to you when I'm out of clinic. So I hope you found that useful. 
Um, I really enjoy sharing my passion of aromatherapy oils with people. Uh, I think they're an excellent way of keeping ourselves healthy, keeping us grounded, um, spiritually aligned. There's so much going on in the world right now that it's so easy to be consumed with fear or anxiety and these oils really, really do help. Um, it's about picking the ones that you you need. Uh, I do hear stories of people using sort of eight, ten oils at a, at a time, and it's really not so necessary. It's about finding the right two or three oils that are right for you at that time. So thank you for listening, and I hope to be doing uh, business and pleasure with you soon. Bye for now. Joy, that, that's a very comprehensive uh, presentation. That, that was good. One, one viewer there was asking, do you do any courses, Joy? I I haven't done courses. I've, I've done, mm. yes, I have done workshops, um, but not courses as such. And you've got a course coming up in January where right. people the, can... The, co the course I have coming up in January is uh, a spiritual soul development course. It's not one on using sort of aromatherapy oils for you know arthritic pain or psoriasis or eczema or anything like that it really is for people who want to develop their spirituality i've just put that up on the screen joy where, where, we're, where we're chatting so that's the special offer there that's uh, been linked in, and i'll make sure that's linked back into the group so it's uh 12 different essential oils joy uh-huh there's 12 different oils and they've got the names there that i have picked now where you see it says full kit if somebody doesn't want the full kit ignore the minus 47 pounds and all that that's just the way the website web shop works okay so if somebody doesn't want the full kit if they just say i just want frankincense and juniper and then if you go on to the shop um there's another i haven't sent you the link for the shop have i if you go onto my website and go onto the shop and, and put you know five different oils together um i'll, I'll throw some bonuses in is this like the christmas bundle as a Christmas bundle, yeah. Okay. Again, I so, think you can you can sort of drop the drop down um, there. You know, you can you can buy one one of those. You know, all of them. That if you if you go, are you you're not on the shop. Can you go yeah, back? Yeah, right the, the shop. Yeah. Okay. If you scroll down. Uh, okay, the aromatherapy hundred percent essential oils. So that's that's all the ones that I have got. So people might want to pick something from there. You know, they might want a black pepper or anything that's not in. And they can build up that offer. They, they, okay. they, yeah, <laughs> I've, I've just sort of picked 12 that are, um, but it's, as I say, if somebody picks, because some of them are quite expensive. I mean, chamomile comes in at like 15, 16 pounds. So if somebody wants to buy that with a few other oils and it comes to 55 pounds, I'll, I'll throw in the bonuses as well. But they can pick up the phone to you anyway, can't they, Joy? They can, and you'll chat them through some of this. So I, that absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And that, that's the key, that's the key, isn't it? Let me try and summarise this. Joy, you, you've created this presentation where there's a lot of information there for people. Now, information was on the screen as we were watching it, guys, so we'll make sure that the information gets to you. The key is here, <clears throat> Joy's very good to deal with, and she really knows these oils. She's got some deals on for our Awakening community. And we're in the business of talking to people. We're not in the business of two clicks and it's a, a, a soulless Amazon order. These oils could be essential in every sense of the word for you or a family member. And I think it's a good idea for you guys to pick up the phone, maybe get some advice, tell Joy what it is, the issues that you and your family member are having or what you're hoping to achieve. She'll help you diagnose and prescribe some oils in the loosest sense of the word joy and uh, i think she'll find the right solutions for you she's good at this job and she's got a special offer on just now so we do like to keep these things to half an hour we've run over a wee bit joy but that's fine we kind of expect to do that i'm just looking at that one that came in at 1937 that says i love joy i don't know who it is it just says facebook user 
Yeah. See, it's funny. It's funny which one stands out. You see, I, I, I never, I'm just like I never, I never saw it. I never saw anything. I love Steve. That's the, that's the problem <laughs> for me, John. I saw that one. I love Joy, and I just ignored it. I was like, I've I was no just, idea who it is. I just oh, it's Lisa. Some, it's Lisa. <laughs> I just thought somebody's drunk and getting carried away. <laughs> well, I know it's not my husband because he doesn't use Facebook. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Well, I've made it. I've made him an admin of, of a line with Joy, just in case I post anything on Facebook. You know, and you get, me and says I've, I've got yeah. a ban. Um, but, mm. but but Joy, I mean, Joy was like peppermint and that Mandarin. You know, it's interesting. Like I, I quite like that kind of statement. You know, I defy anybody to, to pick up a bottle of Mandarin and, and not have their mood elevated. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want that? It's a wee, you know. Are we something you can? Are we pick me up when needed? It's just you know, but it's a great little tool that a lot of people are probably not using. Why? Why not? Is that a wee book you've written? This is, no, no, it's not a book that I've written. This is the book that's the bonus that I was saying mm. that when it came onto screen share, off screen share. Um, it's it's just really simple. The oils are in there. Tells you how to how to use them. Um, I love it. Yeah. It's my, so, so that that's part of the bonus that comes with the with the uh, those twelve. Well, I say any any oils. Well, 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 do you know what it is? It's self help. It's low cost. It's natural. You know, you're getting away for the. You can't see your doctor. Maybe it's maybe it's the answer that you're looking for. Yeah. So, what I would say to people is, these are great Christmas presents. It could be an amazing Christmas present. It could be a life changing Christmas present. But it could be just part of your own health and well being strategy have a look get in touch with joy whether it's a one little bottle of peppermint that you want to sniff for the next 20 years joy you said to me a bottle would last for 10 years or something didn't you a bottle of peppermint if, you... if all you're doing is sniffing it yeah if, and keep the yeah. top i mean they, they are they are they are alcohol or they've got a high alcohol content so if you don't keep the top on them they will evaporate yeah okay um, so yeah you do need to keep the top on them but yeah, yeah if all you're doing is sniffing it it will it will last forever i've, I've but, got some oils and some oils the base oils they get better as you know they're like a wine they get better as, as they age um the top notes tend to you know they they can go off i mean they still smell but not you know you know what it's like i mean i don't know how long a bottle of aftershave lasts whether it ever goes off but there comes a point where you just think that doesn't smell quite the same but yeah they'll, they'll last years Thank you for putting in so much effort to that presentation. Um, You're very welcome. We'll make sure that people get that in the format in which it's intended. And uh, thank you to everybody for coming along tonight. Yeah, thank you very much. And as I say, if you want to just message me direct through, you know, Aligned with Joy on Facebook, head over there and um, chat to me. Yeah, on. and it's alignedwithjoy.com. It's the website. Aligned oh. with Joy is Facebook and alignedwithjoy.com. Is the website, yeah, Thanks and then it's much. on the screen. So linewithjoy.com, everything you need there, that's the shopping channel. Get yourself <laughs> on there and connect with Joy. Brilliant. Thank you. And if anybody doesn't have PayPal, mm. contact me. They can do a back transfer too. <laughs> yeah. Or dirty cash, dirty cash the post. Joy will take cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. and oh that's you. So it says and Steve was thinking, my husband's not here, but that's you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I only get one little heart and you get three, right? That's it. I'm spitting the dummy. That's I'm not happy now. Okay, well, listen. Hope everybody Thank you very much. I, I'm going to look at a bit more closely at this anyway. So I, I really like the essential oil idea. I think it's a, it's a smart way to go. It's a natural way to go. I hope yeah. more people uh, take this on board. And for people who have never been involved or looked at this before, what a time to start. You know, really, really great opportunity. So thank you, Joy. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And thank you to everybody who came along tonight. Cheers. Bye-bye.